50 miles east of Los Angeles, this busy at-grade rail intersection posed problems dating back to 1883, when an armed Virgil Earp was hired to prevent the crossing's opening. The bottleneck lasted into modern times, with an average of 125 trains crossing daily, making it one of the nation's busiest at-grade rail intersections. But today's players use innovative engineering and a cost and time saving approach rather than a solution from the Wild West. Union Pacific Railroad's east-west tracks now cross 35 feet above BNSF Railway's north-south tracks on an 8,150-foot flyover structure. The project brings economic growth through improved efficiency for the two largest U.S. freight railroads while improving air quality and reducing noise. Major design challenges arose from the site's severe space and right-of-way constraints, which did not allow for side-sloped embankments for the bridge approaches. Designers estimated that 39-foot-high retaining walls and replacement of poor soil would drive project costs up to $202 million. Instead, the team employed a pioneering approach using lightweight cellular concrete fill on an unprecedented scale with precast concrete panel walls for the retaining structure. This resulted in a lighter and stronger design than soil backfill, proving easier to construct and drastically improving seismic performance. By substantially reducing the number of idling trains, the flyover is estimated to reduce greenhouse emissions by 34,000 tons. Less horn blowing will decrease noise by 50%, and the project saves $241 million in travel time annually for motorists and rail passengers. More than 20 stakeholder groups collaborated as part of a public-private partnership to make the flyover a reality. The project team delivered the project more than $100 million below original estimates, eight months ahead of schedule. The American Society of Civil Engineers is proud to recognize the Colton Crossing Flyover as an OCEA finalist.